Welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie, and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two-minute art tip. And today's tip is basically about one of my favorite art things, and it's a specific color, actually. Nickel Azo Yellow. Nickel Azo Yellow is available through several brands and in all kinds of different formats, like watercolor or acrylic. Um, there's Daniel Smith watercolor crayons, Holbein, Golden, M. Graham, and Winsor Newton have it in oils. So it, all over the place. This is not particular to the exact format that I'm talking to you about today, which is Golden. And I do have uh, Golden Fluid and Nickel Azo Yellow. I recently used this color in a demo that we did, and I really love it. It's one of my favorite colors, and it is one of the colors featured in this piece behind me here but i wanted to show you guys a little bit about what's so interesting about nickel azo yellow now granted it doesn't look sexy in the tube like or in this bottle it looks kind of gross <laughs> um it is a very very kind of like funny ochre color in mass tone and what i mean by mass tone is when it's at full strength like right out of the tube or out of the bottle and i'm actually just gonna pour this right on here and you're like ew so yeah it looks like baby diaper and doesn't look pretty but give me a second so we have like a barely damp brush here and we're on some cold press watercolor paper, you know, for the purposes. So, you know, what surface we're dealing with here. So we have full strength here in mass tone and you can see that it's very, very strong and very, very potent. There's a lot, a lot of color here, right? But so you get a very, very earthy yellow. Um, like I said, it looks a lot like an ochre and stuff like that. But that's what our mass tone looks like. Okay. So it's high impact, very kind of like organic looking. But watch what happens when we add a little bit of water. It becomes a rock star. And let me show you why. It is a very, very intense yellow. And it is sunny and fun and high impact and goes a very, very long way. So from that little, little teeny dab of color, you get this rich, robust, like crazy yellow. And we're going to continue to draw it down uh, by wetting our brush and letting this kind of wash happen. And it is just beautiful. It's a great tinting yellow. So if you mix it with white, you get a really sunshiny, happy yellow from this. And it's just kind of like amazing. So the undertone with this very, very bright yellow that we're seeing is very, very different than this mass tone that we see up here at the top. Um, and that's typical, you know, with a lot of colors. Not generally as dynamic as this. Um, this one's pretty like out there in terms of like um, color behavior and stuff like that. But that's one of the reasons I kind of love this color is because you get a whole library of really rich yellow in just one little teeny dab. Um, and you can do all kinds of really, really cool stuff with it. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's got so much power and so much punch. I love um, a Sim Nickel Azo and, you know, kind of looks like gold. So, <laughs> you, you know, I'm going to love that. Um, it is just amazing. I just love this color. Like I said, it's available in all kinds of brands, all kinds of formats. Check it out if you've been a little scared because it doesn't look super sexy on the shelf. I'll give you that. Um, but it is kind of an amazing little rock star. Check out Nickel Azo Yellow. Uh, and all kinds of different brands and formats available here at Cheap Joe's. We know that you will enjoy.